What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Wing Aviators and Super Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. And guys, I'm on lockdown, you're on lockdown, and we're not able to go anywhere. The social distancing thing is kind of screwing a ton of stuff up, but I want to kind of bring you guys something to do to fight off that boredom. And I'm going to talk about, and that's why I'm going to talk about some weapons that you can still practice with even locked inside of your house. I know not everyone has giant rooms. Uh, or backyards even to practice things like bow staff and sword and stuff like that. Phenomenal cosmic power. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple different things that you can get right now and practice with inside your own house, inside your own room like I can in my room. So with that said, let's run that intro. So for the first weapon, we're gonna have our magnetic commas that I got from 10th degree weaponry. Honestly, um, all of these weapons are from 10th degree weaponry. Um, this actually wasn't suggested by them, but uh, I just happen to have these weapons from 10th degree weaponry. So I'll leave links for all of the weapons down in the description if you're interested. But our commas, specifically these magnetic commas, are small handheld little like sights basically that you can use to practice your strikes and finger spins and thumb spins and roll, all those rolls that you can do. They're even small and light enough to be able to toss inside without really causing damage to anything. You would have to try really hard to try to break a window or a dental wall with these things. These things bounce off of most subjects, most objects. I don't know why I said subjects, but I mean they would bounce off of most people too. So this that makes it very you know easy and safe to use in doors. Woo, that was good. <laughs> and so if you want, really want a bladed weapon to use while you're inside your house practicing, this is a great choice. This allows you to get uh, ambidextrous and allows you to work with something, you know, that's bladed, which is just really cool to work with. That's a sharp outfit, Chan. Careful, you could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Because it's so sharp. Next, we have our nunchucks. Now, nunchucks are a fan favorite weapon from so many people. Everyone and their mother has seen people use nunchucks or try to use nunchucks or something to in that effect. Now, here's the thing. Nunchucks are a little different. People that don't really know how to use nunchucks oftentimes will spin really high in the air and that can damage things like ceiling fans or light fixtures and stuff like that. So I suggest this for more people that have actually used nunchucks at some point uh, in their career or aren't new to using weapons in general. That'll usually be enough to be able to control your weapon at a height that is safe for, you know, where you're at. Now, these being slightly heavier due to the metal chain, um, you have to be a little bit careful when you're spinning it nice and fast. These can slip out of your hands and damage things like windows. Uh, but as long as you, you know, know what you're doing and have weapon experience, again, this one requires a little bit of weapon experience to use inside, at least use inside where windows are around. That way you don't break any windows. But other than windows, these are small weapons that can be used in a small space to, to practice on your hand-eye coordination really well. That's actually what these were designed for, to work on a samurai's hand-eye coordination. That's not, it's not actually designed for a weapon. And I talk about that in my video about these. So if you want to know more about these specifically, not these, but these types of weapons specifically, definitely check out that video. But time to move on to the next weapon. And the last weapon is going to be the most advanced weapon to practice on, and that is the Psy. The Psy is actually my favorite weapon on this list. I have practiced Psy's for years, and I absolutely love them. I love, you know, spinning them around. I love tricking with them. Doing stuff like this is what I do while I'm watching TV. I absolutely love it. But these things are dangerous. They are completely metal, unlike the commas and nunchucks who were mostly plastic or carbon fiber. Uh, and so because of that, this going out a window will 
definitely break it like that's that's going to happen and so this is definitely going to be the more advanced out of the three options uh for you to practice again they're small well, i almost hit myself in the face they're small and easy to or they're small and uh, easy to use in a small space. So that means you can chop and punch and do all your spins in a small space, but messing up is, you know, a problem. So only do it if you had practice with these weapons. These are, again, one of my favorite weapons to practice and always my go-to when I'm inside a house practicing because I have spent time and learning how to control it fairly well compared to your average person. But if that is not you, if you don't have control of your weapons, it's okay to still practice these, but you don't want to do those dangerous tosses and, and those spins and all that stuff that you, you know, can lose control of your weapon for. That is really what I'm trying to get across. The, the more advanced a weapon is, means it's easier to break stuff when you lose control and you don't want that because you're inside. So again, use these, but be smart about it and use your experience level and don't go above what your experience level is. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's a little break from the norm. Um, if you wanna know, if you wanna see more videos similar to this, let me know, give me some ideas down in the comments. But I'm actually working on a mini series that breaks down and teaches you and gives you guys a workout that you can do at home uh, to turn you into different, you know, subtopics. So uh, I have a series specifically talking about Power Rangers and Jedi coming up very soon that will teach you how to train your body to become like a Power Ranger, to fight like a Power Ranger, and to uh, do parkour and free running like a Power Ranger. And I'll have the same uh, mini series for Jedi and other things in the future if that's what you want to see, if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. So be looking for that. Uh, definitely check out all the links down below to all the different weapons that we talked about today if you are interested and a couple other things like my discord maybe some merch and uh, my patreon and all that stuff so if any of that interests you it's all down below but until next time thank you guys for watching because my name is DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out <laughs>